It's not really for much for teenagers just to do, mm. which why I think this is quite good. It's not your average nail salon. It's run by teenagers and you don't pay a penny. The Dollar Stolls Nail Bar was set up by the charity Art Against Knives to help girls caught up in crime by teaching them new skills. And for 15-year-old Katie, it's already made a big difference. I do feel bad sometimes. I've kind of changed. I don't. I used to be a really rowdy but I'm still rowdy, but I'm not as rowdy anymore, really. Do you think this place has, has helped out a little bit with that? Yeah, because they, they talk to you. Like, I come here and I tell them about stuff and they give me advice. They don't judge you? No, like they give me advice. Tucked away behind the rows of grey flats on the Donis Valley estate, the salon provides a warm and safe haven. It might be that perhaps they have a family member in prison or they've, you know, they've seen something in their environment that's affected them directly. And I think it's about looking and supporting those young girls and helping reduce those risks that do, you know, have been proven to lead to their involvement in violent crime or even as victims of violent crime. It's not hard to see why many teenagers here are susceptible to a life of crime. The unemployment rate is at its highest for 20 years and during the 2011 London riots, nine of the 12 Barnet residents convicted lived on this estate. Story of my life, searching for the right. 13 year old Macy is a regular here and often provides the entertainment. After school today I nearly got a detention for back chatting the teacher and I didn't want to go I didn't want to go to it because of here. The charity knows it will take time to see real changes, but a simple idea like this one is certainly a good place to start. Amelia Papadopoulos, BBC London News.